Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. For today's video, I'm watching a film that has been so highly requested by the YouTube comment section, by patrons, everybody. I am watching the 1994 film The Mask, starring Jim Carrey and Cameron Diaz. I know the main concept. It was on VHS. I remember my friend had it at her house and they just kind of always had it on in the background. I remember that there is this mask and it like changes your personality, apparently. I know Jim Carrey's gonna get up to some crazy shenanigans as he always does. We're gonna see what makes this movie so iconic and just kind of go through it all together. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. If you guys are interested in watching my full length reaction to every moment of this film, be sure to check out my Patreon. I'll be linking that down below in the description. Without further ado, let's get into the 1994 film, The Mask. Edge City? It doesn't look too welcoming, not gonna lie. A little dirty. Uh oh. He wants the treasure. He's like, I'm not doing work. I want this treasure. <gasps> it killed him and opened up the trunk. Okay, um, I somehow blamed the trunk for his death. Okay, so this is about a mask. And I'm assuming that was the mask that was chained up, locked away. And something tells me someone's gonna see that and put that on their face. Looney Tunes. I I wouldn't, but I got those concert tickets you wanted. Stanley, this is great. So what time should I pick you up? <gasps> oh, my very best girlfriend just came into town, and I know she would die to go to this. They're out. They're sold out. Well, I just can't let her sit home all alone. Yikes! She played them. Why don't you just go with your friend, Stanley? You are the nicest guy. Super. You got played, sir. I think I'm wearing her down. I'm gonna take you on a love safari. The Coco Bungo Club. Only the creme de la creme need apply. So how do we get in? <laughs> Hold the phone. Cameron Diaz, look at her. Oh my God. She's stunning. She really is. Stand back and observe. Let's not, this is gonna go horribly, I can tell. Did he just walk away? Can you hold this for me, please? I will hold anything you want. Can you help me? Okay. She's like, not you. He's smelling her jacket. I'm gonna scream. That's an interesting time, Mr. Stanley Ipkiss. Tina Carlisle, pleased to meet you. You know, it sort of looks like, um... Is she trying to hit on him? Lady Godiva or something. What do you see, Mr. Ipkiss? I feel like she has an ulterior motive. What's <laughs> what's going on here? How, how about that account, huh? Checking, savings and checking, CDs. Yep, ulterior motive. Or we could just take all your money and throw it in a big mattress back there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so they're they're trying to rob a bank. Gotcha. She's working for someone. It's a little bit to the right, but you can't pull the salt, right? Hey, you talking to the doctor? What does Nico have to say about all this? Seeing his grip, he's the only one who's napping. Seeing there's a power dynamic going on. <laughs> so we got like a mob boss, crime boss leader that is gonna try and be challenged by I wouldn't say newbie, but someone under him. They're gonna try and undermine the like the big boss. I'm uh, here for the civic. The brake drums are shot, and you need a new transmission. All I wanted was an oil change. Sign uh, right here in the. Just be like, no, I don't want any of that stuff. I have to have a car tonight. Bring around the Lona. The Lona. Oh, it's gonna be something brutal. It's not gonna be anything good. I know it's gonna be like a garbage can on wheels or something. Yep, I was right all along. <laughs> this is the worst loner ever. And they're scamming the guy. So he's looking like he's a bit of a pushover. That's his character so far. Hey, Charlie, how, how you are you? See on the inside. Oh, <gasps> not him. Whoa, never. Cross the rope. No, lose him. Hey. That's so sad. He just wanted to have one good night. Just everything is going badly for him, huh? Oh. He's gonna get splashed? Yup. <laughs> Hi. Are you okay? 
catching some air out here. Your car, sir. All right. You're driving in a Porsche. You can't sell it. She knows. She sees it. He's like, this man is just so embarrassed. Aw. I wonder if this film or Ace Ventura came first. Because I know they're both 1994. I just want to know which one was filmed first. It just looks like a bunch of garbage. Oh. Yeah, it's just some garbage. I guess it kind of looked like a person. Please do not put this floating garbage on your face. Don't do it. He's gonna do it. Oh, yeah. What are you doing down there? Looking for my mask. Ugh. Do you have any idea what time it is? Does it matter? He's renting an, an apartment in the building. You're not his mom. Aren't you due back at the laboratory to get your bolts tightened? I should have said that. I wouldn't say that to the landlord. They can screw you over if you get him on the wrong side. Oh. Hey, you. Oh, he's a dog. Oh, hey, you know, yo. You're not supposed to jump up. He's adorable. What are those floors? Green and black tile? <laughs> I do want that. Look at that kitchen floor. Whoa. Oh, he's so good. Everybody wears a mask. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. We suppress the id, our darkest desires. Well, the book is, of course, the masks we wear. Please do not put the garbage on your face. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> That's actually horrifying. It's like he's a cartoon. He looks like a cartoon. His teeth look huge. <laughs> How did they get the mask to fit him so well? That his expressions are like going with the... His ex... Yeah, his expressions are like moving with the mask. What? She just has a gun? And he's bouncing around. So the mask grants you cartoon powers. I'm Roadkill! Ha ha ha! Is this supposed to be Jim Carrey's id? Like, so basically the mask removes his, so his like, um, his social mask. So this is how he really wants to be. <laughs> For my first trick, we have a giraffe. Wow. Wait, they're like impressed. Don't fight them. They look happy. My favorite. He did not just make a gun out of a balloon. Oh, he's a problem. Oh, he should not have been released into society. <laughs> for an overhaul. When I think of the mask, this is not what I had expected at all. I didn't know it was so cartoonish. So does he just live in it from now on? Oh, guess not. Okay, but that answers my question. What's a dream? You know anything mm -hmm. about the disturbance last night? He put that right in my floor and then he jumped out the window. Impossible. Those pajamas are impossible. Why are you bullying him? See, I have uh, an inner ear problem. If you remember anything unusual about last night, call me. You betcha. He was not having it with, with our boy here. Late! Milo, mm -hmm. get the keys. Is Ace Ventura role kind of like rubbed off in the mask, huh? Perfect. Save it for nighttime activities. Or just throw it out, okay. That's like a really freaky looking mask too. 
I want a proctologist standing by. Oh, he shoved them up at their butts. Can you tell me what happened here? No, and you can quote me. Can you tell us? <laughs> I like the guy looking. He's like, your girlfriend got a great review. Well, if you weren't busy uh, oogling girly pictures, you might actually get some work done around here. It's a bang. He's he just has to handle client of Stanley's. Yeah, he just has to handle like clientele. The next time she comes in, you be sure to send her to my office. You're such a creep. Such a creep. I would just say, like, what happened? That girl will tear out your heart, put it in a blender, and hit frap head. And you need somebody a little more down to earth. Red hair. And full pouting lips. Well, you really narrowed it down. <laughs> I'm Peggy Brandt from the Tribune. Of Ask Peggy? Yeah, that's right. You printed one of my letters last year. You're Mr. Nice Guy? Do you realize how much mail we got about that letter? I mean, there are literally hundreds of women out there looking for a guy just like you. That's so sweet. I love that. Yeah, be nice. A decent man in this town? Most of them think monogamy is some kind of wood. Harich, sister. <laughs> when you were at Ripley Auto, did you see anything suspicious? I just want the truth. God, I wish I knew the truth. This is my, you know, personal number. Ooh, so forward, Pegs. You really think hundreds of women are looking for a guy like me? Oh, she like I'm him. Oh, <gasps> very forward, honey. Thanks for dropping by. Why is he talking like that? You're in big trouble. You did something bad. He doesn't like that. The cops uh, tried to shut the club down this morning. He's a bad criminal. He got caught ASAP. One week to get out of town. Oh, go! Oh, he's so cool. Look at him. Ooh, okay, girl. Oh, it's Milo. Ooh, ew. Milo. He's really obsessed with her. Spooky, huh? Came back. Where did this mask originate from? It's clearly cursed. It was locked away in a trunk at the bottom of a river for a reason. Are you gonna rob the bank? He is. He is gonna go rob the bank. Gotcha. Looking good here, my man. They're gonna. He's gonna ruin okay, the heist. Your own now. Gotta... He's just going straight up in the front door. Like no one's gonna see him. Oh my lord! Where's not? What not? I love him. He's out of his mind. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that that car is gonna be impossible to make turns with. The most beautiful flower of the Coco Bongo, Miss Tina Carlyle. Oh my God! <laughs> she even sits in the most comical way possible. Oh my God! What is he doing right now? Nice. Oh, snap. This looks like so much fun. Oh, they're so good. Signature line, I love it. Wow, great medical attention. Oh, he did. <laughs> and she's like, cool, let's just keep going. Oh, okay. Hello. She's 
literally right in his arms. And they're like, yeah, I'm just gonna shoot anyway. I wanna know where my money is, and I wanna know right now. 8% in stocks and bonds. Carry the 9 to buy by the grocery <laughs> It's a normal reaction to this, to be honest. Ice this deadbeat! <laughs> what? Does he have a ponytail? What was that? Sir, turn your head around again. Hold me closer in. Tell Annie I'm the little yeller out. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> He's trying his hardest not to laugh. Thank you. I need you love me. You're not going anywhere. So you got a warrant this time? What I got is probable cause. I think maybe the gunshots would be a, would suffice for them to come into the building. Better call that high price lawyer, Ooh. Mr. Rell. Get him out of here. <laughs> like how he's like, oh, you're just you're just hanging out. That's why you're here. Just wanted to stop by, even though there's just been like gun violence, just gunshots ringing through the air. <laughs> why would you guys be here? Wait. <gasps> 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 no freaking way! Oh no, you're so screwed, dude. You are screwed. I'll be right there. What do you know about this mask character? He robs the bank you work in, and then I find this in the Coco Bongo. There can't be two idiots with pajamas like these. You think he made those pajamas himself? Those, uh, those pajamas were stolen. Somebody stole your pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Happens all the time, officer. You, you are of the law. You don't hear about stolen property all the time. You should be, you know, on top of these things. Wow, look at that guy. Well, we got some fingerprints on some of the currency, but... Nothing matches Terrell's men. Get the bank employee files and run down the prints on a guy named Ipkiss. 50 grand to the man who finds that green face son of a bitch before the cops do. Come on, let's go! This guy's going crazy. If I have to put up with your slovenly behavior, you back off, monkey boy. Before I tell your daddy you're running this place like it's your own personal piggy bank. Ooh! Whoa, he screamed in his face. That was genius, buddy. I have chills. Two tickets to the charity ball at the Coco Bongo Club this Saturday night. What's with their obsession with Coco Bongo? <gasps> I love her skirt. Come here. You didn't stop by just to see me, did you? The guy they say robbed this place. I think he was at the club last night. I really like that she decided to stroll on over to the bank. You ought to see him dance. <laughs> to confide in her banker. This is the person you're talking to? <laughs> I love that. I know him, you know. I taught him a couple of dance moves myself. Do you think you can have him meet me tonight? How about at Landfill Park? Okay. Landfill Park? That's the place to meet people? I think that's not a good name for a park. This is an interesting piece, Mr. Ipkiss. Possibly a representation of one of the Norse night gods. Maybe Loki. That would make so much sense! It would be Loki! He caused so much trouble that Odin banished him this from Valhalla forever. This makes a lot of sense. Then he could have banished him into that mask. You're suffering from a mild delusion. You don't get to diagnose him. I'm gonna prove it to you. You don't scare me, Mr. Ipkiss. Go right ahead. <laughs> He's like, I'm not intimidated by you crazy. A crazy man. I'd be scared of him now. I'd be like, security, please escort this man out. Or keep him longer. I want him to stay. This is fun. I've got to see Tina. Go as yourself and as the mask. Because they are both one and the same beautiful person. Amazing. Great advice. Lovely. Check on the fingerprints for you. It's so, all right. I'm looking at him. The god of mischief, Loki, has been banished into this mask. I did not expect this deep lore. I love, have you noticed that like, the way they represent nighttime is just by this like, strong blue light? I hardly ever stop by here. The methane emissions really pick up the color. <laughs> Such a disgusting city. And they're like, we voluntarily live here. My friend will uh, be along here any minute. I, I, I better go. Stanley! Please don't do that. She's trying to run from you. I need backup. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, we 
divide and conquer. No, I don't, I don't, she don't, she don't want that. Milk. Freeze! Oh, he literally did. Nice. I wouldn't know what to do either. Done, freeze! All right, I confess! What are they gonna do to me, Sarge? That's not my department. Where's a camcorder when you need one? <laughs> <laughs> Cops got your pal Ipka staked out at Landfill Park. Yeah. Mousetrap, bazooka. I have nice. a for that. Picture Do of Galloway's wife. What? I like that. That's funny. Margaret! <laughs> Get him! Loki just built different, huh? This is the Loki we needed in the MCU. This is the Loki that needs his entire show. Can you imagine him dealing with all the Avengers and everything? How is he not afraid of getting shot? I'm the king of a He's performing. Me in this movie is so good. <laughs> this is how he single-handedly took down the entire police force. He's too powerful. No wonder they cast Loki into the mask. Oh, so he he knows when to take it off. They're just gonna go to his apartment now. Stanley, get in! There he is! Yeah, he's not beating any of these allegations. Seatbelts. She says that so casually while they're getting shot at. When I put that mask on, I can do anything. But it's wrecking my life. That letter that you sent my column? She's obsessed with a guy this. with more guts. She really likes that letter, huh? Uh oh. Is this him? She wanted the 50k. You got the 50 thou? Give her the money. Becky. You know how hard it is to find an apartment. <laughs> right? Girl, I feel that. Ah, ah, ah. How does this mask work? Put it on. So, it is, so anyone can put it on. So it's like a never ending loop. Anyone who puts it on is just gonna, it's gonna turn into this wild thing, and it's always gonna have a host. Oh, he's like a scary looking one. He's like a monster. What do we do with Ipkis? The police are looking for the mask, so we'll give them the mask. <laughs> it's giving goosebumps. You guys remember goosebumps from like the 90s? I don't know how, when it, I think it was like maybe late 80s too, but like early 2000s, 90s, there is one Goosebumps novel uh, book and I don't remember what it was, but it was like this green mask and I remember reading it. It was like one of the only Goosebumps I had. It His mask face reminds me of that one. That's not cool. Milo, protect the monies. Or protect, no, actually protect your owner. Oh, he's like, do I protect the money or my owner? Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's so dedicated. He's so fast. Look at you, a fast boy. Look at him. Pardon cops dancing in the street. The SWAT team got an offer to open in Vegas. Uh, something will turn up. I can explain everything. Explain this. That's not even the right mask. Yeah, his life's ruined. I don't know how he's going to come back from any of this. Well, they can't prove anything. They never got, like, the fingerprint match. Oh my god, is your dog gonna break you out of jail? Find yourself a new place to live. Looks like I'm gonna be in here for a long, long time. You got a visitor. It's Milo. Oh, no, it's not. You're the mask. Yeah, but don't tell anybody. Your boyfriend might be uh, a little upset. He's gonna do something terrible. The lumbata. <laughs> Now he's in jail. It's you. Follow along. Okay, lady. Time's up. That damn ponytail. Oh my- It's not even scary that he's there. That music is for his ponytail. I thought I could go my entire life without seeing something that horrific, but here we are. Please don't make him turn his head again. Don't do it. Oh, nice. Oh, oh no. There's a woman being chased through the alleyway there. Yeah, yeah, sure. You didn't hear the woman screaming? It's kind of loud. Are you gonna somehow escape jail? Oh, Milo was out there all night waiting for you. Remember how I taught you not to jump up on people? Forget all that. Put some effort into it. 
Yeah, we're running out of time. Baby, there you are. Look what I found in her car. You playing a little trip without me, baby? Yes. She was gonna go see her family. Pick her out something pretty to wear, okay? Because we're gonna go to a party tonight. Get her. Whoa! Look at him go! He's so good. Such a good boy. Oh, he's so good! Oh, wow. You trained him so well. He's like, no, just mine. Oh, you're gonna blow up the ball? And you decided to transport the explosives with the car you're in. He's clearly a mastermind. I don't know why I ever doubted this man. Aya! Pistol whipped by Jim Carrey. <laughs> ah! Hold it! There is no way you're walking out of here like this. No, you're right. I'm gonna take you with me. Got the wrong guy, I tell ya. It's a bum rap. Where are you taking Ipkus? Ixnay. Big Latin, right? Come on! Why don't you just sit back and relax a minute? There's explosives right in front of her and you just keep like hitting her. How can she relax? I thought it'd be kind of like a situation where the mask doesn't attach to anyone and everyone. everyone. I thought that that Loki had standards. <laughs> Virgil, you, have a word you. you start off with explosions? <laughs> Why is he walking like that? Who the hell are you? I'm just an ex-employee who's come for his back pay. Kill him! I like how he doesn't turn into a, a cartoon character. He just turns into the most terrifying individual I can imagine. His mouth is the gun! Okay, so he does kind of turn into a bit of a cartoon character. What are we inching up? Get your dog away from me. Milo I'm earned sorry, he seems to be his... Attracted to you. Milo earned his seat as the passenger. Use the radio. Call for backup or something. He's a dead man. You don't even know what's going on in there, man. As long as we see, we don't see that man with the single ponytail again. Actually, I'd be scared if he had several. Um, as long as we don't see him again, I'm okay. What are we gonna do? Oh my god, is Milo gonna save them? Yeah, he managed to, to break a prisoner out of your jail. Hey, Bob! Oh, on TV show. Look who decided to crash the party. It's this guy again with his damn ponytail! Oh no, the real villain. But all I wanted was a kiss. A kiss. Dorian, I can't shut this thing off. There's always time. One last kiss. <laughs> He's so weird. Oh no, thanks. From the real Dorian. This whole place is gonna blow in a couple of minutes! I need to get my smooch on! That was a good kick. None of these people should ever play sports. I'm just saying. It's all over now! Oh, Milo. Did he just put the mask on? Oh my gosh, what is Milo's real personality like? Okay, so he's like extremely ag aggressive and scary. Isn't this whole place about a blow up? Oh, the dog's peeing on him? Oh, wow, he really hates this one guy. Nice. All right, we, oh my gosh, please put, the... he had to put the mask on. He should have put the mask on. Did you He's back. Me? Yes, I did. Do I feel lucky? Do ya, punks? <laughs> I laugh, I love it. Oh, I hated that. I hated that so much. Yeah, I guess, I guess God was. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs> I 
I want to know how the makeup artist did his mask thing. It really did, like, look like Jim and mold his mold to his expressions and stuff. Arrest those men. Are the charges dropped on Ipkiss because he, like, helped? Or... I've got you now, Ipkiss. Watch it, Chunky. This young man here just saved our lives. Yes, he did. Come on. Thank you, Mayor. What a pretty view. Sure you're not gonna miss this guy. He wants the mask. Milo. And so did Milo. Okay. We love a good ending. Oh, that was so cute. I actually really like that was a lot of fun. Aww. So I just finished watching The Mask for the very first time and I friggin' loved it. Jim Carrey's performance knocked it completely out of the park as usual. Uh, he's a beloved actor for a reason. He really brought it with this performance. He's essentially two different versions of himself. One, he's playing a normal guy who works in a bank and he is pretty timid and he doesn't really have much of a spine to be honest. And the other part of him is who he wants to be. It's him and his deepest desires and it's legitimately a cartoon character. And the fact that he's able Able to pull off both roles simultaneously is like amazing. Jim Carrey just brought it. I don't know what to say, man. It was so enjoyable. You can tell that a lot of it was improv. I don't think that he, this was all written down. He memorized it and did it. I think it was improv. I thought that it was a really fun concept. Honestly, everybody's performance was phenomenal. I, I liked the, the plot, the storyline, the pacing, and just how creative they got with this film. I don't know what it is with like comedies from the 90s, but they were just built different. I didn't know what I was missing out on not watching the TV at my friend's house. So I should have just stopped playing and turned around and watched. I probably wouldn't have been able to comprehend anything that was happening. I now still have the attention span of a goldfish. But yeah, I freaking loved this movie. I need you guys to let me know what you guys thought down below. Uh, when was the first time you've seen this movie? If this was the first time you've seen this movie. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone. Bye.